Hi, I'm Marc Andre. In this video, I'll show you some of the improvements we've done to the drawing tools in Harmony 21. In this new version, it's now possible to use the tilt and the speed at which you're drawing to control the size and the opacity of the brush. This means you're not limited to only using the pressure to control size and opacity, and you can actually control both of them independently. Using the new tilt shading brush in Harmony 21, I'm able to hold my pencil straight up from the tablet, start drawing, and apply more pressure. This changes the size of the brush as I draw. But if I want to modulate the opacity, I can tilt my pen, start drawing, and apply more pressure. And you see that this line here preserves the opacity as I draw and becomes bigger because I'm applying more pressure. So I can really modulate the size and the opacity using different inputs from my pen. This brush is great for sketching. So let's say I'm doing my line work. I'm holding my pen really straight up at the sky. And I can do all my lines, really fine lines, because I'm not applying too much pressure. And once I'm done with my line, without having to switch to another brush or change color, I can do the shading just by tilting my pen and drawing the shading like this here. And I can tilt the pen at different angles to get darker shades or lighter shades. I can really go even darker for the front here, like that. Now there's another brush in Harmony 21 that's completely the opposite of that. It's called the chisel tip marker. When I'm using this brush, if I hold my pen straight up and I apply more pressure, you can see that the size of the stroke doesn't change, but it becomes more opaque. If I tilt my pen and I do the same thing, can see that the size of the brush is a lot larger. It's not only using the pressure for the opacity and the tilt for the size of the brush, it's also using the azimuth or the direction in which the pen is pointing over the tablet to determine the angle of the tip. With the chisel tip marker, if I tilt my pen and draw like this, you can see that it's really orienting the tip of my brush based on how the pencil is pointing. And speaking of shading, there's a new tool in Harmony called the Stencil Brush that you can use to do just that. You'll find the Stencil Brush right under the Brush tool right here. Now, the Stencil Brush is an extension of the Repaint Brush. It actually has two modes, Overlay Brush Mode and Repaint Brush Mode. In a Repaint Brush Mode, it works like it did in the past, where if I draw over existing artwork, it replaces that artwork. This means I cannot use this mode with a textured brush. To use a textured brush, I need to go and use the overlay brush mode. And with the overlay brush mode, I'll be able to select both layers as the source of my stencil when I'm going to be drawing with the stencil brush. I just need to select both layers in my timeline, and the artwork will be created at the top layer. If I draw my shading like this, you'll see that it created the shading using the union of both drawings. Even better than that, I can actually create the new strokes on a new layer. So I select the top layer here, I'll shift click the bottom layer here, and I'll make my brush a little bit bigger, it's gonna be easier. And then if I shade this drawing right here, it's actually creating the shading as a new drawing on a different layer, and it's using all of the selected layers as the source for the stencil. The stencil brush is great for shading, but it's also great when you're doing compositing and you need to create a mask over a drawing. You can do your mask on a separate layer using the stencil brush. For more information on the stencil brush and the other improvements we've done in Harmony 21, please visit our website at www.tomboom.com. Thanks for watching.